cool um, things. Um, this is one. Uh, that one that TF's just discovered, it just introduced me to. This is a chat room implemented entirely with JavaScript.、Um, this is not what you think it is, but.、Um... <laughs> There is an explanation for this. It's a little chat room. So I'm going to change my name to, let's say, Sanders. Oh, here comes a TF. And it's a virtual chat room where I can then say, hey, Rose. And we can all meet. Oh, and there's Thomas. Hello, Thomas. And guest 8743.、Um, now, just in my defense, what is this site? Oh, a lot of you are now in here. <laughs>、um, Apparently, this is a rumpet troll, which is the name of the website,、um, which translates to tadpole, but apparently more literally to ass troll. So we're not really all that far away. But this is all done. What's cool is this is JavaScript, right? So maybe I shouldn't leave this up here so long.、Oh, that's great. We're talking to people on the internet. <laughs> all right. This could get bad quickly. So let's close that. So. Frankly, this is really quite cool because up until now, you would have to write programs like this、um, in languages like Java or in ActionScript. And that's not to say that's a bad thing, but it requires, again, that the user have special software, namely the Java runtime environment or the Flash plugin. And then、um, you have to actually use multiple languages just to implement your website. So, what's compelling about HTML5, among other things, is the move toward, ideally, some more open standards, which generally does tend to be a good thing for the world and certainly for people who want. Want to program in it. One